Hello and welcome back to another episode of Product Reviews. Today's video will be less of a review of a specific product and more about what I configured around a Mac Mini so that it could serve as my travel compute device. It was time to replace my 15-inch Windows-based laptop computer which I've been using while traveling. I was eyeing a very nice hefty laptop with a 16-inch 4K OLED display and the latest AMD processor and an RTX 4070 but I was reluctant to spend the money since I don't travel very much and I already have a very nice desktop setup. I was looking for a creative alternative for something I would be using for perhaps only two to four weeks a year. My use case is as follows. Used while traveling perhaps twice a year. Editing photos using Lightroom Photoshop and videos using Resolve. The secondary use would be for email and general web browsing and entertainment such as YouTube and Netflix. Importantly, I wasn't planning on using the computer while on the move, for example on a plane or a train. The intent is to use it while stationary in a hotel room. My trips are usually fairly static and don't involve short stays with multiple stops. I had a few other criteria when deciding what to use with the computer. Minimize expenses by utilizing as much equipment as I already had on hand. This had to be balanced with the expectation that there would be sufficient performance for video editing in particular, and I didn't want to put up with too many compromises in usability. The equipment had to be sufficiently small and light enough to fit into a carry-on bag. These are what I ended up with. A Mac Mini M2 Pro. This is what I happened to have lying around and had sufficient performance in a small enough package that I could build around. It didn't need an external power brick and had excellent connectivity provided by two USB-A and four Thunderbolt USB-C ports as well as HDMI, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. The main missing was storage with a Peltry 512GB built into the Mac. This was quickly addressed with an external NVMe enclosure that was compatible with USB 4 and Thunderbolt that I fitted with a 4TB SSD. The performance is on par with the internal SSD. I recently did a video review of this setup. I splurged on an 18-inch 2K portable monitor as my primary display. This conveniently connects to the Mac via USB-C for both power and video. It is a decent size, in fact larger than my previous laptop. It has a matte non-reflective screen and covers the DCI P3 color space. It also has built-in speakers that are marginally better than the one in the Mac. For input, I paired a Keychron K1 Bluetooth TKL keyboard with a Logitech mouse. The keyboard is a mechanical one with backlighting, so it is a bit of a luxury. It is relatively compact with a low-profile design, so it doesn't take up too much space. As an added benefit, I can use it with my iPad via Bluetooth. Here is what the various components look like next to what they replace. The operational footprint is only slightly larger. I also picked up three cases to protect the three most critical components. The Mac, the keyboard, and the display. Here is how everything looks once packed up. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the solution. The Mac does what I need it to do performance-wise. I did have to buy the 18-inch display, a couple of protective cases, but I had most of the other components, so the outlay was minimal compared to buying something that costs in excess of $2,000. I'd argue that the solution has more functionality, with the larger display, better keyboard and storage, at the expense of portability and on-the-road usability. This is also relatively modular and expandable. I can upgrade to a Mac Mini M4 or maybe an M5 down the road for better performance and a smaller footprint. I fully recognize that in some ways, I'm comparing apples and or windows and that not everyone has a spare Mac lying around and is able to switch from one OS to another. This just happened to work out for me. For completeness, I sometimes bring along a Beats Pill Bluetooth speaker that pairs very nicely with the Mac as well as a travel router. I also have a compact toolbox that I use to make video editing easier. Affiliate links are in the description below if you are interested in any of the products I used. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.